Hey guys, Jared Webb here, and today I'm going to show you how I use the Tonex pedal to very easily recreate a Soundgarden super unknown guitar and bass tone. Alright, so the tones I used, I pulled off of ToneNet. I did a little bit of research on what Kim and Chris were using around the Super Unknown album guitar amp-wise. Uh, so I went and looked for a PVVTM. You can see in the picture here that Kim has three of these PVVTM amps. And from everything that I have researched... These were basically the precursor to the 5150 amp. And I can't believe it, but there was actually a PV VTM guitar amp capture on ToneNet. I will put the name and the link and all that in the description if you want to go get this PV VTM capture off of ToneNet. Thank you so much for uploading that. So for the drums, I was able to go onto YouTube and... I found the real Spoonman drum track, so I thought, why not? I'll just go ahead and use the real drum track. And now for bass, I did a little bit of research on what Ben Shepard would have been using, and from what I have saw... He uses anything from Ampeg to Mesa bass cabs and amps. Um, he has a little bit of a dirty tone, and it's kind of fat sounding. So this was the closest that I could find without having to make too many adjustments. And then if you listen to this part of Spoonman, I didn't know this until I listened to an isolated bass track on YouTube. He actually kicks on a pretty heavy fuzz distortion for this part, so I've went in and added a nice fuzz distorted tone to this part. So let's move along to the isolated left and right guitar channels. Running into my Tone X, running straight into my interface, and this is what the PV VTM capture sounds like. <laughs> Now let's listen to all of those tracks put together, uh, see what you guys think. See how you think I did on this tone recreation, only using a tone X. I really appreciate you all watching this video. Uh, if you could, just leave me a like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed the material. Uh, I plan on doing quite a few of these tone recreations with the Tone X because I believe the Tone X is capable of quite a bit. Until next time, guys. Thank you.